What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But let's go ahead and get into it. Well, Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot had a press conference today, and then looks like Terry Fontenot just had kinds of been in all types of interviews this week, you know, because you already know what it is. Draft day is tomorrow. Man, the countdown has officially begun, people. So wanted to get into a little bit of, you know, couple of notes. We didn't really get anywhere out of these interviews. It just only left us speculating even more. You already know the, the media and our fans are on the divide right about now. Not sure where we're going to be going with it. And that's the, pretty much the way Terry and Arthur Smith are keeping it, you know. So, but when asked about, you know, the variables involved when, you know, discussing the top first three picks and, you know, what could actually happen at four. They basically said that at this point, we have to weigh the options of do we trade back compared to the player we could get at four? Or if we trade back, what would be the value? So we have to weigh all of those different variables. So basically, he didn't really say anything there. Um, when you're picking at fourth, we're trying to take an impact player, whether it's a player that's going to sit or a player that's going to play right away. We want to bring in an impact player that fits the culture, that has the right makeup, and that we have clear vision for that player. So once again, you know, got us just play with our emotions right now. Everybody trying to get something out of Terry and Arthur, and we're going and getting nowhere. So of course we got to wait on draft day, people as well so and as you kind of know the falcons currently have less than a million dollars in cap space and that is before they draft and pay their entire rookie class so atlanta will have to make a move at some point you know as well as speaking of making moves terry Faulkner said he will have to talk with calvin ridley and hayden hurts first before announcing whether the team will exercise their fifth year options with them so, you know, like I said, they are definitely considering all situations right about now, right about now, uh, not just one player. And speaking of that one player who's been in the news pretty heavy, it's the Julio Jones rumors. And you know they had to address that. And Terry did address it, saying that's one of those things when you're doing things the right way in an organization. You have to listen. Um if people call on any player, especially we are in a difficult cap situation. That's just a circumstance and it's not a surprise for us. We knew the circumstances we were in. So they, they pretty much saying he knew what the mess he got into with this cap when he said yes to the Falcons. Our administration has done an excellent job up to this point, getting us in a position to be able to manage the cap. And yet we still have more work to do. So when teams call about any player, then we have to listen and we have to weigh it and we have to determine what's best for the organization and we have to handle everything with class. And of course, obviously that player, we hold him in high regard. He's special in what he's done and what he continues to do here. But we have to consider any player if it's right for the team because we have to do what's best for this organization. And you know, of course, Leo Jones is the man, hurt or not. He is still an impact player. And Jones, a seven-time Pro Bowler and two-time first team All-Pro, has been one of the game's premier players since being drafted six overall in 2011. But he is coming off a down year though. However, logging 51 catches and 771 yards in nine games, you know, but it was injury played last season. This is his first season under 1,394 yards since 2013. So but that doesn't mean anything. He is still an impact player. He is still somebody that is definitely is in of high value from a lot of teams. They are knocking on the door for Julio Jones. So do we trade our greatest player we have on this team? <sighs> yeah, no. I'd rather Julio Jones retire as a Falcon, but... At the same time, it's a new regime. Business is business. So what option do we have? You know, um, he cannot be traded before June 1st. 
But if the Falcons were to trade Jones after June 1st, they will be able to spread out the financial hit over two seasons instead of all in one. So we do have that option. So, you know, y'all let me know what you think about that. Along with, there are reports that Todd Mache from ES, uh, ESPN said that the Falcons are locked in on Kyle Pitts for their overall pick as well. And I know there's a lot of buzz going around Kyle Pitts. You know, he followed the Falcons and he unfollowed the Falcons. He made it very public that he's very highly interested in the Falcons. Maybe that was a PR move to get him to unfollow and kind of be on a hush hush. They probably already maybe said something to him. It's all smoke and mirrors though, people. I know a lot of people want to go quarterback, quarterback, quarterback. But can we afford quarterback at number four? Or can we get him in the later rounds? That's pretty much what Terry also stated. It was just like, uh, we can get a quarterback at any time, you know, a good quarterback at any round possible. So, because he addressed that, yeah, we only have one quarterback right about now. So, one is going to have to be addressed, period. So, we're going to get one, but it might not be where everybody wants it to be. So, that's pretty much I got all for you guys for today. Um, look out for our draft show tomorrow. It's officially here, people. I appreciate you guys tuning in to us each and every week as much as we can. Of course, if anything breaks today, um, of course, I'll bring you some more news or we might even go live. You never know. So with that being said, this is Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation and we are the nation and I'm out. Peace.